It's a form of uh, emerging alternative for radiation therapy with protons, which is different from the standard of care that's currently used with photon therapy. And that's what is the difference between the two treatments, and it's expected to be much better for the patients. Okay, could we pick into the details what sets the two apart in terms of the you know, technicalities required and then the impact that you're seeing as a result? The impact we saw from our research that it has a higher survival rate compared to the patients that were treated with standard photon radiation. And that was, uh, that was a statistically significant result that we are presenting here. And the equipment involved? It's, it's still the same form of radiation, except the beam here is made of protons instead of photons, which is traditionally used. Okay. Have there been any issues with um, access to the new technology? It sounds like it might be a little tricky for some clinics to get a hold of. Yes, so it is still available in limited places. There are only 23 operational proton centers in the United States, and there are 14 more that are under development. So the access is very limited to patients across the country. It is also an expensive form of treatment and not universally approved by insurance at this point. Uh, have there been any reports of changes to toxicity or tissue damage? No, it's actually better for uh, the normal tissues. It spares the dose to the surrounding areas compared to the standard photon radiation. And it's, it's much more focused to the tumor and spares the tissue around it. And these results were just in non-small cell lung cancers? This is for non-small cell. It's been used in many cancers now, but uh, our research here is for non-small cell lung cancer. Well, like I say, I put this in our good ideas column because it sounds like a new technology with reduced toxicity is having better results. Yes. So where next, I guess? The next steps are there's an ongoing phase three study that's uh, being uh, conducted by NRG and hopefully that will give us some strong data to show the benefit of protons and uh, tell us more about the role of proton therapy for non-small cell lung cancer. I suppose it might be interesting to pick into like the physical mechanics of the machinery and the tissue damage targeted as it is. Um, I don't know if you've heard much about e-cancer, but a lot of the people watching this are clinicians in practice at the moment. So if we go into like, as much detail as you'd feel comfortable with. So like I mentioned, one of the, one of the issues with uh, photon radiation is that it affects the surrounding heart when given to the lung. And sparing dose to the heart with protons that is being observed is a big benefit to the patients. And in prior studies, it has been established that when the dose is spared to the normal tissue, surrounding tissues, it is associated with better survival. So we are very excited to be presenting this re uh, these uh, results at ASCO here, and we are very hopeful that this will uh, leave an impact with uh, healthcare providers and researchers, and will lead to further research to, to prove this and uh, make a more of a case for this form of treatment.